What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about some of the rarest items in the Elder Scrolls Online. And I was going to do this video just kind of for fun, something a little bit different than my normal videos here on the channel. There's a lot of things that have been in the game for a really long time that are, are either so rare that hardly anyone has ever seen them or things that were in the game at one point that they uh, that Zoss has taken out so only a handful of people probably have them. There may be some others that I have not thought of in this video but I was trying to remember a lot of things that you know I have not seen in a long time or things that are re really rare to get some things that you guys may have never heard of. So let's go ahead and start uh, with the very first thing here on the list. And this is one thing I'm sure you guys have heard of and I'm sure a lot of you have seen in Guild Traders for a very expensive price. I mean, usually on console, they're one to five million. I'm sure there are a lot more on PC, but that is a etheric cipher. The etheric cipher has to be obtained by killing, uh, you know, any non DLC enemy. The thing is they're very, very rare to get. I've only ever had one friend to ever get this. Uh, I've been in some of the same guilds. Uh, since I started playing here on console about six months after the game was released on console. And on, out of all those guilds, I've never heard of a handful of people getting an etheric cipher. Of course, what this does is you have to have it to be able to make the mythic, ethereal, ambrosia potions. So this is what you have to have to make those 150% XP pots if you want to make them for yourself. Now, we all know they're pretty expensive in the guild trader at times. Sometimes they're cheaper on console and sometimes they're a lot more, kind of depending but a etheric cipher is something that is very rare. And if you've gotten one, uh, I'm glad for you because as long as I've played the game, I've never gotten a, an etheric cipher. Uh, I have horrible RNG, but leave me a comment. Let me know if you've gotten one uh, since you've been playing the Elder Scrolls Online. Another one is the Encaskment of Anguish. Now, this is one of the rarest item sets in game. It cannot be acquired anymore. It was uh, This drop rate was removed, but it still can be traded. Now, I'm sure some of you may have seen at some point, some of you may have not, uh, that there are some items from dungeons like Worm Cult and other things that you can actually sell. So, uh, sometimes you will see these rare items that people have had for a really long time. The reason these things could be sold or traded then, uh, this was a long time ago before they actually implemented the uh, part of the game where you cannot sell some of these things that some drops, you know, cannot be sold where some can. So if you have any of these items that were kind of, that predated that, you were able to sell these items or trade these items. So there's some people out there that still have these things and they sell them for a lot of money or trade them for a lot of money. Uh, this armor style was converted into the Dark Seducer uh, costume, which you do get after hitting CP level 60. So if you've hit CP level 60, you do have that Dark Seducer costume. So this is one thing that everyone has in one form, but no one really has that actual uh, set that you could get from the different drops uh, from back when the game first came out. Now, when it comes to pets, I know everyone has tons of pets and, you know, probably people are going to say there's a few rare pets in game, but there is one that is extremely rare. There was a monkey that was the pet that you got for participating in the online closed beta. It was not tradable. Uh, it couldn't be sold or anything like that. So if you have one, uh, you're probably pretty a, a pretty unique player in ESO because there's not that many players that participated in the closed beta that probably still play today. Uh, and these, uh, uh, this item in particular, uh, like I said, couldn't be traded. So if you've got one, you have it. And, you know, it's something you'll have forever. And, of course, it is just another pet, but it is a very, very rare pet. Another thing that, of course, was added into the game a long time ago that is a crafting material that was removed very quickly, and I'm probably going to butcher the names of both, was the Geade and the Lira or Rune Stones. These Rune Stones were added into the game and removed in 2014, two weeks after launch. These rune stones were originally used for weapon damage crafting. Of course, that mechanic's not even in the game anymore. Uh, a lot of players believe that the devs left them in the game by accident because if you had some then and you broke them down, they gave you no XP. But at one point, years and years ago, uh, there were posts from people selling these and they were wanting some insane amounts of gold for them. We're talking 90 to 100 plus million. Uh, and... I, I'm not sure why anyone would buy this guess, unless they wanted it just for nostalgic kind of reasons for something that's not in the game anymore, something that was only in the game for two weeks, because they're not usable. And I'm sure it was probably something that was just left in. But that is something that is pretty neat to me. If you played, you know, in, in 2014 on PC, you know, for the first two weeks of the game, you may have acquired some of these and not even known it. Another thing that I think uh, that a lot of people may not ever get or have gotten i know i have horrible luck with it. that's radiant apex mounts and i'm sure most of you thought this was going to be on the list radiant apex mounts drops are 0.6 percent uh, per 
you know, a crate that you buy. So you get these from opening crown crates. Some players say they can get them within 200 crates. Some people can open four and 500. I have opened so many crates since I've played this game and only ever gotten one ready in Apex in almost seven years now. So that is something that is very rare. If you get ready in Apex as often, I know some players do, consider yourself lucky because there's a lot of us out there that can never get them. Uh, there's a rune box from Clockwork City, of course, which gives you the uh, one skin. Of course, now this is from the Trial Asylum Sanctorum and it only drops on veteran mode, making it a very challenging item to farm. Now, of course, this is that robotic skin that you've seen in the store before. Of course, the one in the uh, store that they sell, of course, is silver. The one from, uh, of course, you know, the trial itself is that almost copperish gold kind of look. There's only a very few players that have a lot of these trial skins and trial things in the game. And, of course, this is obtained from a rune box and it is a very rare drop as well. Another thing that, of course, is a very rare drop uh, is the Timber Crow Wanderer costume. I've only ever gotten one of these. I actually went and did this. It is a costume that you can craft for using 50 Siege of Cyrodiil Merits and Siege of Cyrodiil uh, Distinction. These make uh, make this rare costume. Of course, to earn this, you have to get a, only get a Merit a day. It'll at least take you 50 plus days to craft this. A lot of people don't fool with it. I did it one time, sold mine for a little over a million here on uh, console, but... It is another costume that is very rare. You hardly ever see anyone with that Timber Crow Wonder costume on on PlayStation. Uh, I've seen a few people here and there wearing it, but not very many. Another very rare item is the True Flame weapons. Uh, this is by far the rarest weapon in the game. Uh, kind of like those rune stones we talked about. Uh, they added this weapon, I, I would assume, on accident at launch. You could uh, catch this item while fishing in Stone Falls. Since then, the drop has been patched and taken away. And it could not be traded at the time. It could not be sold. And is not in the game anymore. It did not have very good stats. But it is a weapon that, unless you played the game early on, you probably have never heard of or seen a true flame weapon. But if you played it and you know played the game then, you got lucky enough by fishing in Stone Falls to catch one, and you have these true flame weapons. That is something that is a very unique weapon in this game uh, that we we'll probably will never see again. Unfortunately, like I said, they cannot be sold or traded. So if you have one. Kind of like the pet, it's something that you're going to have that nobody else ever will. Of course, there is a volcano painting that is very rare in this game as well. Uh, the waterfall set from uh, uh, some of these, like the waterfall ones, uh, go for enormous amounts you know, uh, of gold on the traders. Uh, very high price tags. A lot of these rare paintings come from Vardenfell containers with an extremely low drop. There's not a true percentage on these, but a lot of people say they're probably as about as rare as an apex mount so less than one percent drop rate once again i've played a lot in uh vardenfell i've never gotten one of these to drop i've never stolen one of these you know all the things i've stolen there some of these paintings if you do get them you can sell them and they are worth an absolute fortune uh but some of them are so cool looking i know a lot of people keep them for their homes uh just because they're really that neat and they're absolutely massive paintings so if you ever get any of those paintings from vardenfell those the one that kind of looks like the waterfall that has kind of the lava background with the mushrooms, the, the ones that are split into three different pieces. Make sure that you, uh, if you have a house, you may want to keep them or make sure you check the market for the price or ask someone because a lot of these will not be on the market considering they're so rare and you can get a really big value for them. Anyway, guys, that's a, that is a list of some things that I consider some of the rarest things in the Elder Scrolls Online. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've ever gotten any of this stuff. I know a lot of this stuff would be uh, things you would get only if you played the game since the start. But of course, I would love to hear your guys' comments. Let me know some rare things or some things that seem very rare to you. I know there's a lot of things that their players cannot get easily. Uh, staffs and weapons in game. I, I know for me personally, it took me forever to get the Maelstrom staff, about 500 trips. Of course, that was playing on Vet years ago. I got the Burning Spellweave staff, which some people have not gotten since the game has come out or hadn't got you know, since 2014. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.